two projects. In this video, we are going to discuss about the project, which is Quantum Secure Email Client Application. So before getting into the execution, first, let's understand what is the project about. So in today's digital age, securing communication, it is very important, especially when it comes to sensitive information, which is exchanged over computer networks. So traditional encryption methods like AES, RSA, and triple DES, despite being strong, they are vulnerable to sophisticated cyber attacks. So to address this, we are developing the quantum secure email client application. So we are going to develop quantum secure email client application. And in this computer science, physics and mathematics aspects are combined to solve the complex problems much faster than the classical computers. So by employing quantum key distribution techniques, the application, it will generate highly secured encryption keys that are extremely difficult to crack, thus significantly enhancing the security of email communications. So in quantum computing, the basic unit of information is qubit. So in quantum computing, basic unit information is qubit, which has the unique ability to exist in multiple states simultaneously representing both zero as well as one simultaneously, that is at the same time. So this property, it allows for the creation of extremely secured cryptographic keys. So with this, cryptographic keys will be generated that to an extreme secured level through quantum key distribution that is called QKD. So this QKD uses qubits and specific measurement techniques to produce keys that are nearly impossible to crack with conventional computing methods. So these quantum generated keys, they provide a level of security that would take classical computers millions of years to break. So our application, it uses highly secured keys to encrypt the email messages and also the attachments with that, ensuring that data, it will remain protected from any unauthorized access. Moving on, the quantum secure email client application, it comprises of various functional modules which are aimed at ensuring secure communication. So these modules include user sign up, user login, composing emails and viewing emails. So users, they have ability to register and log in to their account securely. They can then compose emails, they can attach files, and they can send them in an encrypted format. So the recipients of these emails, they can view and decrypt the messages and the attachments as well. So that's preserving the confidentiality as well as integrity of the communication. So by leveraging the power of quantum computing for encryption, this application offers a strong, reliable solution for secure email communication, which effectively safeguards against unauthorized access and cyber threats. So moving on, to build the web application, that is front-end, we have used Django framework, which is integrated with the MySQL database. So this is all about a project. Moving on to implement this project, we need software and hardware requirements. So coming to the hardware requirements, we need operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, and hard disk of 20, 10 GB and above. So moving on to the software requirements, we need Python IDLE of 3.7.0 version and MySQL Workbench. So now let's execute the project. To execute it, we need to open the code folder, which contains source code files. So these are the source code files which are used in the project. Let's understand each file, how will they be used in the project? So the first folder we have is email folder. In this folder, we have Python code files that are intended to be dynamically loaded into the project code during runtime. So these files, they serve the purpose of giving recommendation. Next we have is email app folder. In this folder, we have three kinds of folders, which comprises of static folder templates and the other one is Python code files. So coming to static, it contains files related to CSS, JavaScript and bootstrap files. So these files, they contribute to the visual appeal as well as interactive aspects of the application. Coming to templates, we will find all the HTML pages used throughout the project. So we'll have HTML files in the templates folder. It includes index.html, home.html and more representing various sections of the website. The last folder that is last file which we have in the email app folder is Python code files. 
So they consist of Python code that will be executed during the runtime of the application which supports its functionality. The next file is DB file. This file, it contains SQL queries that need to be executed within MySQL workbench in order to establish the required database structure. Coming to manage.py file, it is a command line utility that comes with the Django. It provides various commands for managing Django projects, including tasks like running the development server, creating database tables, and applying migrations and more. And here we have is run.bat file. So instead of executing program through command line interface, we have created Windows bat file to execute it. This file provides an alternative way to execute the project. So here we need to double click on it to execute it. So double click on run.bat file. Here we can observe that manage.py file will be compiled. And after compiling manage.py file, Django framework will host the application locally at the default address, which is the local host and the port, unless configured differently. So this is the local host and this is the port. Now copy this local link provided by the framework and paste it in any web browser. I copied the link. I prefer Google Chrome, so I'll paste it in that. So copy the link here. At the end, type index.html and click on enter. So here we can observe that we are redirected to the web page of the project. So this web page of the project is developed using Django framework. So here we can observe that there are two links. One is user login and the other one is new user sign up. So before logging in as user, we need to sign up first. So click on new user sign up and add all the details. So username is Kishore. Provide password of him. Contact number. Email ID. And address. And now click on register. So here we can observe that sign up process is done successfully and he can log in. Similarly, we will add one more user so that one person will be sending the email and the other person will be receiving the email. So username of the other user is Kiran. Here we need to provide his password, contact number, email ID and the address. And now click on register. So here we can observe that the second user's signup process is also done successfully and he can log in. Similarly, we can register n number of users. So now click on user login link. And here we need to provide the username and the password so that user can be logged in. So first we'll log in as Kishore so that he'll be composing email to Kiran. So provide the username of Kishore and provide the password. And now click on login. So here we can observe that user Kishore has logged in successfully. And here we can observe there are two links. One is compose email and the other one is view emails. So first Kishore will be composing email for that click on compose email link. So here we need to select the person whom we want to send the message. So I'm going to select Kiran. We can select any user. So I'm selecting Kiran. And here we have to give the subject that has to be sent. So the subject would be secure email testing. And here we have to give the message that we want to send. So the message would be quantum computing encryption. So here we have given the message as well as subject. So we want to send this message to Kiran that to in encrypted format. So now we need to click on choose file to add the attachment with the message. So click on choose file. So we will be adding this attachment that is this document. So now click on open. Here we can observe that file has been loaded. Now click on submit so that the message will be sent in the encrypted format. So click on submit. So here we got the message that message sent successfully to the Kiran in encrypted format. So this is the encrypted form of message. So this is the encrypted form of message. So with this hacker will be unable to read the message and it is very hard to read him and it is very complex to break the message and read. So this is the 
encrypted message. So now we will log in as Kiran and decrypt the message and read the message which Kishore has sent to Kiran. So now click on log out. Click on user login again. Provide the username and the password of Kiran. Now click on login. Here we can observe that Kiran has logged in successfully. Now click on view emails to see the mails which has been received to the Kiran. That is Kiran which he has received the emails. So click on view emails. And here we can observe that there is one mail which is sent from the user Kishore that is sender Kishore. So here are his details. This is the receiver name. This is the sender name. And here is the mail date which has been sent. So here we have subject of the mail and this is the encrypted form of message that the mail has been sent. And if we click on click here link in the decrypt message column, message will be decrypted and you can read the message. So click on click here. So here we have decrypted form of message that is quantum computing encryption which has been sent by the Kishore. So now we will download the attachment which has been sent by the Kishore. So click on view emails again. Click on click here in the decrypt download attachment column. And here we can observe that the file which has been attached is downloaded. Similarly, any user can send that is he can compose the email and any user can decrypt. That is, if suppose Kishore has sent email to the Kiran, Kiran can decrypt the message and he can read. And this message will be sent in an encrypted format. So now click on log out. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.